Yo, Calvin here. So every parent loves their daughter or their son. And whenever you see your daughter being hurt or being abused, that they give you the right to punch that person in the face. So this story is all about that. Whenever the mother saw her daughter being abused, she went right into the house and punched that person right in the face. I want you I want you guys to hear the story and see who is the real asshole in the story, right? So the title of the story is I punched my ex-husband's new girlfriend for hitting my daughter. So what did the daughter do that made the girlfriend hit the daughter? Let's find out. So I, a 23-year-old female, have a 6-year-old daughter. I had her at 17 years old with my ex-husband, Devon. Devon and I got married at 18 and got divorced at 20 years old due to his cheating. He doesn't pay, dying to financially support our daughter. I am our daughter's full-time caretaker. My ex-husband only sees our daughter once a month. Wow, once a month. I beg him to spend more time with her, but I soon have to beg him to be a father. He recently got into a relationship with his new girlfriend, Hailey. Hailey, Hailey. So the daughter is, no, the father is basically kind of out of the picture because he sees the daughter once a month. That is little effort if you think about it. One year, he only sees the daughter four times a year. So the father just does not care about the daughter. So what does that t- tell me about the Devon? When Devon and Haley have a kid, Devon might cheat again and don't really care about the relationship at all. So there's people out there that just don't really care being a father and that that Devon that sounds like he is not the right fit to be a father. Ever since Haley entered my ex-husband's life, she bashed me. She blamed me for my daughter's being Autistic. She said my daughter is autistic because I coddled her. I do not coddle my child. I legitimately try my best with the situation I was dealt with. My daughter was diagnosed with autism at four years of age. We have her in speech therapy and behavioral therapy. She has a therapist she sees twice a week. She also has developmental delays. I try to work with her every day on her speech and behaviors. So the mother is definitely going through a lot by trying to help a disabled like autism daughter, right? By going to the speech, by going into a behavior therapy, that is a lot of work because whenever you get home at four o'clock, you're tired from all the days, but you're not done yet. You're gonna take your daughter to your apartment, come back, make lunch or make dinner to prep for her, put her clothes on, laundry, clean the house. So the mother is definitely doing all of it on her shoulders. But that's a lot to take taking care of a, being a single mother. But being a single mother with a disabled daughter, that is twice as hard. Yesterday, my daughter went to go stay the night at her dad's house. He, Her dad's girlfriend, Haley, was there. She lives there now. My daughter's father called me. He told me to come over and pick out a child because she was upset. I went to go pick her up and I saw she had red marks, welts, and bruises all over her leg. I was pissed and asked what happened. My daughter told me that she spilled water on the floor on the end on the couch. And he got mad at her and hit her with a belt. I mean, spilling water on the floor and the couch is literally just water. It's not wine or anything like that was leave a stain. Why was Haiti being like a... Like making a big deal out of it because you can literally clean the, the floor just a mop with the sofa. You can wait for it to dry. There's not a big deal. There's no reason to hit a child with a belt because he spilled water. Water that evaporate that does not leave a mark and there's no smell. I rushed into the house and I don't know what came over me. I punched Haiti in the face and beat the shit out of her. I didn't even realize I did it until I saw her on the floor. Haley wanted to press charges on me, but my ex talked her out of it. I went to the police station with my daughter right after and filed a police report. I showed them the bruises, 
wrote and Mark. I pressed charge for child abuse and I reported my husband to CPS for child neglect and abuse. I am still seeking out on the situation. I took photos of my daughter's leg and arm. I will never let my daughter go over to her dad's ever again. I beat myself up over this. If I knew why Haiti would hit my child, I wouldn't have let her go over there in the first place. Am I the asshole for this? Well, first, you did the right thing by going to the police station, uh, get the pictures, file a document, file a report, so everything is kind of documented. But the thing is, like, punching someone in the face and kind of hitting her, I think it's just not a good situation because Haiti could press charges on you and make situations worse. But it sounds like Devon is trying to ease the situation and just tell her to stop, don't file charges, which is good because you don't want a lawsuit. There's no winner in lawsuit because the money will go to the lawyer, right? If you lose, you're going to pay the lawyer the money. If Haiti lose, Haiti going to pay the lawyer the money and it's very, very expensive because one hour of lawyer fee costs about two or three hundred dollars. That is something that not everyone can afford, right? But if you win the case, Haiti will pay, Haiti and Devon will pay all the fees. But it's a hard argument right here because he technically assaulted Haiti, the girlfriend, right? And you're not doing it because of self defense, right? If it's a self defense where Haiti attacked you and her daughter, you might have a chance, but you're not really attacking Haiti, then really attack you uh, first, right? So you attack her. So there's a, some kind of gray area, but I think it would be fine to just like report it to the police and um, document everything and never bring um, the daughter to the vault. But the sad thing is, the daughter will never have a father figure in her life because the vault is never in the picture and now. You know, she, she only sees the father four times a year. Now, she only sees the father maybe one time a year, two times a year. You know, only when Haiti is not there anymore because right now Haiti and Devon are living together. So, it, it's making things very situated. So, it's very hard for the daughter when you don't p pick the right person to build a family with. So, it's very important and to, build, to pick the right person. And I know that the both of them were really, really young. And it's hard to like, you know, being young and dumb, don't really know what's going on until things actually happen. But yeah, that's my take on the story. Yes, I feel like punching someone just might have went a bit too far, in my opinion, because physical attacks and violence is never really the answer. And it doesn't really solve anything, uh, except making things a bit worse. I, I feel like reporting it to police, documenting it, and you know, if things go even worse, if you want to press charges, you will definitely want the case because of this. But assaulting her made the case is a lot more complicated. That's just my opinion on it. Leave it in the comment section below what you guys think. And if you want more of these kind of stories, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And my name is Calvin. And I'll see you guys next one.